Hola! As we continue with our series on the verbs in the preterite, this video covers the preterite of ER verbs. Let's look at the preterite tense of an AR verb like hablar to review. Yo hablé, tú hablaste, él habló, ella habló, usted habló, nosotros hablamos, ellos hablaron, ellas hablaron, ustedes hablaron. So the endings in the preterite for an AR verb are e, aste, o, amos, and aron. The ER endings are a little similar, so let's take a verb like comer to eat and change it. Yo comí, tú comiste, él comió, ella comió, usted comió, nosotros comimos, ellos comieron, ellas comieron, ustedes comieron. So it's actually similar to the way that an AR endings are, only with more eyes. Try beber to drink. Let's change it first to the present tense to kind of see how these differ. So, so I drink, you drink, etc. Yo bebo, tú bebes, él bebe, ella bebe, usted bebe, nosotros bebemos, ellos beben, ellas beben, ustedes beben. Now the preterite. Yo bebí, tú bebiste, él bebió, ella bebió, usted bebió, nosotros bebimos, ellos bebieron, ellas bebieron, ustedes bebieron. Notice that not even the nosotros form is the same. Okay, with, with the AR verbs, we notice that the nosotros for the past and present were the same thing. With, with ERs, it's emos in the past tense. Okay, let's try aprender to learn. Yo aprendí, tú aprendiste, él aprendió, ella aprendió, usted aprendió, nosotros aprendimos, ellos aprendieron, ellas aprendieron, ustedes aprendieron. Here are some common ER verbs. Aprender. Beber, comer, comprender, correr, creer, devolver, entender, leer, perder, romper, vender, volver. Okay, you might notice in that this list I actually have some stem changers or shoe verbs. That's because these verbs, although they have that extra change in the present tense, they don't do that in the preterite. If you remember that the AR stem changers didn't change and, and didn't have a stem change either, okay, the ER verbs were the same way. So, if you took a verb like entender to understand, it normally goes E to IE and the shoe. So we can see that, okay, right here. But in the preterite, that E just stays E. So, yo entendí, tú entendiste, él entendió, ella entendió, usted entendió, nosotros entendimos. Ellos entendieron, ellas entendieron, ustedes entendieron. Okay, now when a verb has two E's, like leer and creer, it does something a little bit weird. Let's change it as if it were normal first. For leer, it would be, yo leí, tú leíste, él leyó, ella leyó, usted leyó, nosotros leímos, ellos leyeron, ellas leyeron, ustedes leyeron. You notice in, in these, for, these two forms, the, the I uh, is between two vowels. And what happens is, is that the I becomes a little bit shy when it's between two vowels and it so it becomes a Y. This only affects the spelling and they're pronounced the same way. They're still pronounced leyó and leyeron. But also notice the overuse of accent marks on the I's. Okay? The reason this is is because if we don't put those accent marks on, we have a diphthong or a combining of the sounds. Meaning if I didn't have the accent mark, we would not have the separate sounds or, and syllables. So, leí is two syllables, but if I didn't have that accent mark, it'd be lei, which sounds a little bit different. We want two syllables, so we have the accent mark. Now, the two form, leíste, we have the accent mark, because without it, it would just be leíste. And leímos, without the accent mark, would be leímos. Okay, so we have those accent marks to keep the extra syllable. Let's try creer, to think or believe. It is the same thing as leer. Yo creí, tú creíste. Él creyó, ella creyó, usted creyó, nosotros creímos, ellos creyeron, ellas creyeron, ustedes creyeron. Now go ahead and translate the following into Spanish. You can use the word bank if you need to, and also pause the video if you need more time. I read the book. Yo leí el libro. We learned a lot. Nosotros aprendimos mucho. Jaime and Francisco understood the problem. 
Okay, there's two verbs to understand. You can use either one. Jaime y Francisco comprendieron el problema. Or, Jaime y Francisco entendieron el problema. Did you run fast? Okay, much like with the present tense, when I have do you at the beginning of a question, I ignore the do. In the past tense, I ignore the did. Tú corriste rápido? Or, corriste rápido? Rosa sold her house. Rosa vendió su casa. Did you all break the window? ¿Ustedes rompieron la ventana? Well, that's it for this lesson. Hope you found it helpful. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Gracias y adiós.